Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarab Al Fath. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued Edict Number no. Nine for 2017, amending Article One of Edict Twenty One of 2015 for establishing the National Committee of Information. The first article of the edict stipulates that the committee will be chaired by the Minister of Cabinet Affairs with the membership of representatives of the following bodies: His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's Court, the Bureau of the First Deputy Premier. The General Secretariat of the Cabinet, the Ministry of Finance, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Ministry of Interior, the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Ministry of Health, Ministry of Housing, Ministry of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning, Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Ministry of Labour and Social Development, Ministry of Transport and Communication, Ministry of Oil, the Electricity and Water Authority, Economic Development Board, the Central Bank of Bahrain, the Information and E-Government Authority, Supreme Council for Women, Supreme Council for Environment, and the Civil Service Bureau. The Minister of Cabinet Affairs will issue a decision naming the members of the committee based on the nomination of each of the above mentioned bodies. The level of representation shall not be less than the rank of Assistant Under Secretary. The resolution shall designate a Vice Chairman of the committee from among its members to replace the President in the event of his absence. The committee will have a rapporteur to prepare for its meetings, writing the minutes and follow up the implementation of decisions. The second article stipulates that the Ministry of Cabinet Affairs, the ministers and the concerned bodies have to implement the edict to be activated the next day following its publication in the official gazette. The Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, held a meeting today with the governors in the presence of the Governorate's Coordinator General. The Minister of Interior expressed thanks to the governors for their efforts in serving the country. He also highlighted the cooperation of the citizens with the Governorate, which eases meeting their needs through coordinating with the concerned authorities. The meeting discussed a number of issues and projects related to governors' affairs, including the Capital Governorate's plan to develop a Lakr area and the suggested a strategic plan of the Security Committee in the Northern Governorate. The Minister of Interior praised the plans, stating that they reflect the Governorate's keenness to take all the necessary measures to ensure good living standards for the people. He added that such plans contributed to achieving sustainable development for the Kingdom through enhancing the values of patriotism and community partnership among its people. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to distribute 4,200 housing units in all governorates. The Ministry of Housing announced the completion of the distribution process of apartments in the Tubli Housing Project. The Housing Ministry stated that the Housing Services Department has completed all procedures for distributing the project apartments to the beneficiaries. The Ministry added that the distribution process that took place over the past two weeks and the current week was smooth and expeditious due to the department's preparations. It also stated that the Tubli housing project is regarded as the most prominent housing project carried out by the ministry in the capital city, in addition to succeeding to absorbing a large number of requests of the people of the province. It noted that the ministry had previously distributed and delivered housing units in the project earlier, while the current phase saw the delivery of apartments. Ramadan is the busiest time of year for Bahrain's food merchants and comes with unique challenges as well as opportunities. Those in the industry prepare their stocks and special offers weeks in advance for the sake of the citizens and residents of Bahrain. More in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. As the blessed month of Ramadan approaches, Bahrain's retail stores and supermarkets that hum with life during the entire holy month gear up to welcome the holy month of fasting, offering shoppers exclusive promotions and offers. Especially in the Ramadan, it will start in the before one month. The for order and everything, the price reduced will be started the before one month for the before Ramadan. They will everything will fine. They will reduce the price until the promotions in the middle of uh, the Ramadan will be completely over. They will start it for the Eid promotion. Start. It's everything about the quantity. So we have the stock much. So with the reduce in the yes, like under costing. The under cost means the equal price. So we are not looking the promo the for the profits. Well, the, only the keep, keep the little margins. It's a, we are giving for the supporting for the customers. We want only the supporting for the customers. 
Retail stores around the kingdom outline plans to hold Ramadan promotions and substantial reductions on food products and other goods, ensuring the availability of sufficient stocks of food products to cater to potential soaring demand during the holy month of Ramadan. During Ramadan, we have a special promotion, especially on the products which are mainly used or bought during Ramadan. So it's a, it's, it's a common thing. You will find all the Ramadan products and the good thing about our company is that we try and see that the, all the Ramadan products are the products which are being bought during Ramadan. Either we sell it at cost or maybe sometimes below the cost. It is some way how we want to greet our customers and give them the joyful Ramadan. Definitely there is a help from the ministry wherein they are taking the data from all the importers to ensure that the products are available at any given point. Even before Ramadan, we had a meeting at Ministry of Commerce wherein the, you know, min, you know, they, they, they insist that we should try and give the best possible prices. All the retailers should give the best possible prices to the consumers. That we do and we do, like, you know, we, we, we do sign an agreement with the government that we will try and give the best possible prices. And uh, we have a habit of not increasing any prices during the month. With large amounts of food items being purchased, retail stores around the kingdom made sure to spare no efforts to create a unique shopping experience for shoppers. Aiming to give customers maximum benefit, offering a number of special offers throughout the month-long duration. As the beginning of the holy month approaches, Bahrain is getting ready to welcome the holy month with the most powerful promotions in the market. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. A healthy diet helps you maintain and improve your overall well-being and Ramadan can be a good start for a healthy routine. Great nutrition tips in the following report by Hab Abdel Ghaffar. Proper nutrition is fundamental for good health. Ramadan can be a great opportunity to adapt to a healthy lifestyle and a well-balanced diet to enjoy amazing results. We have to be very careful in selecting the type of food and the methods of preparation of the food during the holy month of Ramadan, which means that we have to be very careful to select all the fresh ingredients in preparing the food and also the way that we are going to cook the food, it should be in a healthy way. In terms of that, we have to reduce fat because it is well known during the Ramadan, unfortunately, that a lot of people, they are using a lot of fat and sugars in preparing whether the main meal or the sweets which is very common we have our traditional meals and sweets during Ramadan but we have what we have to do we have to reduce the amount of fat and reduce the amount of sugar in terms of fat we can have I mean uh, uh, healthy to prepare the food in a healthy way by having some uh, fr fresh uh, uh, salads and starting with the fresh uh, uh, I mean uh, grilled uh, chicken or fish or meat and then we can have instead of having just a drink uh, which is very rich in sugar and color we can have the uh, fresh juice after we break our fasting this is the main meal that we have so as I said that we can start with having two to three pieces of dates and then fresh juice or low fat uh, uh, yogurt or leban and then the uh, person can continue for I um, mean can go for the uh, uh, praying time and then they can come back and to have the meals which is it can be fish chicken or uh, uh, I mean uh, meat but should be prepared in a healthy way which is reduced in fat the most important we have to cut down the fat during the holy month this is for the iftar but for the suhoor as we postpone the suhoor to early morning just before the praying time the early morning it will be better because this gives energy for the person for the next day to continue his work in a normal manner and suhoor usually as the, the uh, meals for the suhoor it is exactly like we have the breakfast so instead of the breakfast, we are going to have the uh, suhoor. And suhoor also, we can have a cheese sandwich, low-fat cheese sandwich, sometimes eggs, sometimes uh, uh, any dairy products. Leban is very important. Avoid temptations and always remember to choose your body. It's your only home for the rest of your life. Never underestimate the importance of a healthy diet. It's a key element in maintaining your overall physical well-being. You are what you eat is not just a phrase. Nutrition has huge impact on your health and general well-being. 
Take advantage of Ramadan and maintain a well-balanced diet to indeed thank yourself later. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar.